it's a beautiful day, of course, with me, the farm girl, Brenda Mahoro, every Monday, 11 a.m. to 11.30. I'm here with you, our esteemed viewers out there. Let me hope you're enjoying Family Farm because I enjoy you every time you watch or you tune in. We are here in Chanja, Agricultural Resource Center, talking about a farming, different farming ideas different farming projects that you can do in that small space because with time space is going to be it's going to be so small so uh with urban farming what can you do in that small 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 money or in that um, space what can you do you as as yourself and today we are talking about poultry farming what are the different feeds that are on the market we know that we have feeds that are very fake so how can you differentiate between feeds that are real how can you take care of your chicken do you know the right lighting the light the right lighting do you know the right warmth that your chicken or your chicks need be between one week and four weeks do you know all those things do you know the pest and disease control do you know the farming management do you know what yeah, what every farmer has to have initially when you're costing so just stay with me as we are having Sengi Endo Kenneth taking us through poultry farming. You're welcome on the show, Mr. Kenneth Sengi Endo. Uh, you're going to greet our viewers and maybe introduce yourself and what you do here at Chanja Agricultural Resource Center. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, by the way, for coming. I'm Sengi Endo Kenneth. I'm an animal scientist. And uh, this is Chanja Agricultural Resource Center. Where we are is a poultry unit. Uh, my lad, it's okay, it's a poultry unit. And uh, what we do in the poultry section, we basically raise uh, birds right from the old uh, to uh, fourth week. Then away from that, uh, we give some uh, to large beneficiaries. At the same time, people come, pressing orders, they take them at 60,000 per brooded chick. And uh, away from that, uh, still, um, we also train farmers how to do the brooding and also poultry management uh, generally. At the same time, also try to budget plan for those people so that we do promote urban farming on the entire scale of Kampala. So uh, being a KCC farm, we are here by to promote urban farming so that people can embrace farming in their small marginal spaces within their homesteads. Mm. Basically that. Okay, uh, providing you've talked about management, poultry management, let's begin with that. How do you manage here? Okay, um, yes, uh, poultry management is something broad, uh, but uh, still, just we do poultry, you know, poultry is something broad whereby uh, you can do poultry in chickens, you can do poultry uh, in ducks, you do poultry turkeys. As long as they are domesticated birds, that's poultry. But uh, if you look around Uganda, uh, many of the farmers, they have done poultry uh, in chicken farming, but we have different lines still within chicken farming. So being that, uh, here we are doing crylers, and uh, for management, it starts right from uh, the premises uh, because now if you look at the management it's something broad whereby uh, you have to look at the premises you have in general uh, there i mean uh, the space or the poultry house then after knowing that you have that then uh, the are factors still you have to make sure that they're in place uh, but uh, in most cases if you have the premises uh, you have also to ensure that you ensure the biosecurity because now to manage our poultry uh, there are factors you have to put into consideration one is the space that is the house the second one is all about the reliable source of water it should be clean water and you have also to manage that source uh, the third part is all about the reliable source of feeds uh, because in most cases, um, these birds, by the way, they have to be fed by the, uh, the person who is looking after them. So uh, you have to make sure that uh, uh, feeds are there 
and uh, should be reliable and uh, should be of quality. Then, still under management, um, we also look at the um, the inputs themselves because now we also have to consider the quality and the quantity according to the space you have within your farm. So uh, I may not go in too much of the management, but those are the basics. Basically, we have to make sure that they are in place to ensure that your farm is successful. Mm. Yes. Uh, you've, you've talked about the feeding. So how is the feeding? How do you know what quantity does it have to feed on a daily basis? Like you said, uh, we, here we do crailers, right? Yeah. Uh, for between four weeks and one to four weeks. Well, one to four weeks. So how is the feeding? Okay, uh, now uh, feeding is a very big factor. Uh, it cuts across to human because now just imagine you're introducing a day old. It's like now the mother in the human that you have produced your kid. Mm. Yeah, there are things by the you have to ensure that they are really in place. One of them um, is feeding. Uh, that's why I even recommend that, yeah, with our mothers, first six months, make sure that the kid is on the breast, the breast feeding. Uh, so now for the case of poultry, just as you say that, yeah, they are crailers. Once you get them the old, in most cases, you must have prepared the unit, what we call a brooder. And, um, you know, once you lay brooder like this one, of mm. course, you have to make sure that you cover it. Just so we shall maybe have a look at the brooder. And uh, the moment you cover um, the, the, the beddings with those papers, it means that you are trying to ensure or teach those birds that they have not to feed on the bukuta, but they have to feed on uh, the starter feed. So now, uh, generally with the feeds, we have different types. We have the starter feed. Mm -hmm. That one is mainly used for the first four weeks. Then uh, we cross over now to growers, uh, either marsh or the growers pellets. Growers pellets, uh, we need by the to use that growers pellet um, for the third, rather uh, second month, third month. Then you can now cross to what we call the finisher feed. It can be finisher when it's marsh or it can be finisher over nga pellets, what we call the pelleted feed. So cut a said every singer. Once you get them the old, we have to feed them on the starter. We normally make use of pellets because uh, we are assured of the quality and also the healthy uh, aspect of that feed. You know, pelleted feed by the, the system that uh, they go through with high temperatures in most cases, uh, you find that uh, that feed comes out when it is hygienic enough then people are going to get their uh, ingredients, they start mixing from the floor. You know, the floor at times by it's already exposed. So by the time you get that feed from the floor, it's very by the infected. By the time you start feeding them, remember that stage is critical. You find that they end up even contracting. Those infection is right from the feeds, more so the uh, so-called uh, the marsh starter. Mm. Yeah, so it's always good, by the way. For the crailers, uh, brailers, even commercial layers, if I to make use of those uh, feeds, most of the starter, right from the company where you've bought those buds. Yes, basically. And then just uh, uh, mixing or uh, rationing his or her own kind of starter mash, mm. basically. Uh, what skill, what grams or kilograms do they have to feed? Yeah, now uh, that one is important uh, because, you know, in most cases, we keep on alternating, that is scaling up, uh, because once they come on their day first, they cannot feed the same way when they are ending up there for three weeks. So now uh, we get the average that within a brooder for the first four weeks, each bird be consuming 45 grams. You get it? Yeah, because now um, it can start with it, five grams, that's the first day, then it goes on now adding on. But now, for someone who is calculating for a commercial business, maybe someone who is doing brooding, basically, and sells off after the brooding, so it's good by the when you're calculating to look at 45 grams, that's what the research has. And if we have actually researched it, and we have it on our record that it is 45 grams per cheek, that's per month. Per month? Yes. 45 grams. 45 grams. No, it is per, per cheek per day. 
not per month. Very sorry, yes. Mm. <laughs> That's per day. Per chick, per day, yes. So it means that you just make use of 30 days, time was 45 grams, now divide by a thousand to convert that into kilos. That is when, when they are how old? That's when they are four weeks. Mm -hmm. That's after brooder. Yes. So we look at per day, 45 grams. That's per chick. So if you're looking at four weeks, we normally consider it to be uh, 28 days. So it will be now 28 days times the quantity per day, which is 45 grams. You get it? Yeah. Now you divide this by a thousand. Now to convert from grams to kilograms. Then after getting those kilograms, then you are free to now calculate with the number yes, of the birds you have in the brooder. Yes, to get the total quantity of the feeds you need. Mm. Yes, but we normally look at 45 grams per day per chick when they are still in for brooding. Mm. Yes. So, um, Mr. Sengendo, uh, apart from commercial feeds, what else can the chicken eat? What feeds? Yeah, now it's just as I stated it before um, when we are uh, we are starting, trying to start the, uh, the interview. The fight of the matter is that we have different lines or different breeds. Uh, here we are doing krylas, it's okay. Uh, for krylas, they are more, they are le, they are more less locals <coughs> for a reason that these are hybrids. They get the exotic ones and also cross them with our local birds to uh, come out with such uh, lines, the krylas. Because now, if you don't see the krylas, you may say things like sasso. Uh, the uh, uh, rainbow, but they are all in that bracket of hybrids. For these ones, uh, we even uh, recommend uh, our farmers that if you have a semi-intensive system whereby you can push them out, is the best way to farm them. What do I mean by that? Uh, that these birds, uh, they behave like our local birds. In that, once you have the commercial feeds, you can supplement with 30% uh, of the leftovers right from the kitchen. Uh, things to do with the skumawiki, cutoffs, uh, if you have the tomato, a nyanya, yes, a zo, you can get even the leftovers like kaunga. Only the another is, by the way, uh, the economy is not on our side. Everyone is ayagala kugoya kaunga kokava na kawasolo malao. But in the case there is that leftover, in fact, kaunga, kalo, even beans. In hey, fact, yes. Even namatoke. Namatoke, that's all bigger. Kati, we try namatoke, uh, we normally desire and advise people this way. Okay. You know, there's a lot of uh, uh, sap, amasanda, gamatoke, mm -hmm. if they are still fresh. Ate, uh, jukira, koke, no, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have the system like uh, the luminance. And, uh, yeah, so Jacque Sanganti, and what can we be feeding the Kubikutavia Matokevu? Gavicha RBBC, Masanda, Gaba Manji, Gaba again that interfering with the digestive system. Yayo. So if they make eight weeks, Chivachank is on you uh, to first and dry them, those peelings, then try also to chop to small sizes. Mm -hmm. For a reason that for them, uh, Tezirina Manu is. So it just has to pick and swallow. So if it is something big, it gives them by the hard time to swallow and also pecking from the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's always good uh, in most cases by to chop small sizes, sunny dry, after sun drying at least for two hours, then was take them. Then if you have it in excess, uh chiva better, uh, no once you uh, dry them, chiva chirunji nyo and kubye. We take this ration into Bobo Tabula Emere, a commercial feed, Chivachirongi, no banga. The one who says amazing brand, maybe say a kiratan is amazing brand when you mix it. Or what demo is a half a half powder, a peelings, the matoke and karu, cover those milling machines, they can actually mean them. Then no cola half your powder and a half your amazing brand is Okwesa Nganti. Of an ration is very appropriate because more peeling so we just carbohydrates basically with less of proteins. Then when you feed them on the leftovers, mm -hmm. still them the feed, still avail them the commercial feed. For instance, on leftovers, the tulina proportion is in tough. Is very low on proteins and carbohydrates. 
so it's better leftovers uh the greens to supplement with the percentage of 30 percent yes then uh, the commercial feed to cover 70 percent other people they do it 50 50 make it it also comes back now the growth rate jacques mm-hmm. and the growth rate to lose teva yam yeah, yes basically that's about feeding yeah uh we took that feeding even to get in a kulia uh said every single the twagal and you um being too nti um how can i say nti uh even to be ta take it the uh sources of your kuvanga said every single once we come now to uh disease management said every single and what is the singer zitira mummeri Yes, and koko zino jezilia. Uh, Nechida lanti exposure. Dengoko zi wezo zi exposed di nyo, mwoso awabantu wabakola chetuita free range system. Yeah. Ujia kwe sanganti, where they go out, maybe to look for feeds, is where they source the outbreaks. So, evi nitu, zi vita menti kulia, uh, exo kila dala, biyo evi nitu evi limu, uh, um, evi sigalide evi nkoko, maybe talk of the offers, evi ndavi nkoko, uh, you get up in Tunga quills, eh? Nti a mere is a sali drum of Gulwengo Konesuri, a more Gulwengo, most of the Tali and Gabolava. Nti against the Mokatali, no later lived over as Nangi contaminated. Gavate same way you have been coco, Jacques Sanganti, a metaba helefe for birds to eat. When Songanti, civil in coke again a Mokatali, Nti a vera helefe enough. Yes, you've all I've said every singer. To Gambant, yes, much as to target leftovers, they will not be sensitive. And with the leftovers, a BBC Gali de Avian Coco, Nifakti, and Coco, Tezivisanga, leftovers of Genda Ziwa. So Avian Davian Coco, we don't encourage. So Keradala, Avian Tungo, Gulu and Coco is a Mitwege and Coco. And also, by the way, uh, other meat parts of our console and what we expect by that cross infection. And yes, maybe MBs are not any bacterial infection. The way Sang and Yango Kerid is, my Gendanga Zibo Javoja, Katwevoja, a your PCA pork. Yes, over PCA, which has by the Funachi or Funa of Blood. Yes. Uh, talk about and kwa ugambi into one no wukoko wuli wobuli between one week and four weeks. So talk about the lighting and the warmth. Okay, now uh Sere Bisinga um Bobot no lid the Twitter brooder. Mm. Brooder basically um cover cast special place where to keep in gira and koko or kuva kunako soka paka ngazikoze en naku amakumiya satu. Ya kati e sere visinga with the warmth in the brooder and lights. To chagala nyonti and coco for the first month. Lights is in oku verako uh nature. Ren song and light is it to yamba, so kira dala, zvazeta aga light to enable them to see what to feed on. A choku viri, light cell na zo, uh ziyamba kwa to beauty ngaku growth. Many chiringa and ti vaku to te maybe mse house, maybe you are somewhere underground. Mubanga to inner light, yes. There is a way it affects by the, your uh, health, exokada, even your growth rate. Mubango wa chakula. Ngo jiego kufaba menta ini ngo mkuru wafi. Yes, na inga. Yes, light by the chikulu nyo. Chofula, nemo commercial layers, nko keza maji. We always recommend. Ntinebu yebange nko ko evude mo bruda for the first month. Jiwa chino ino wabango, jiwa 16 hours of light. 12 hours daylight, that's natural light. Then... The four hours, otanga sawe mwe yechilo, paka kusawa, enya, eze yechilo, to make it 16. Mm. Kupana ye yamba, webange processing over a kola eji, msistimu yayo. Chivola light by yamu gaso. Then kuomuth, um, tuzitinka ku kuomuth, uh, tujia kula baby sigiri, because ya we use briquettes. Ya, sere baby singa, kuomuth tujia for the first uh, 15 days, orwen songa anti, um wa mseno ngoku zo sijanga tezina ba mama kati momo fuka ba mama bazo at the same time momo fuka ba papa bazo mm-hmm. so kati moye mbera mama agaba is uh, a ebugum elisani de that's why our local birds zijanezi wa mbatiro bwana bwazo na hizo bezili ntizili mo uh, uh, big numbers ba mama tabasola kujana bo 
ya kwesa nganti yes either tukozesa ensua the brooding pots oba tukozesa ebintu nga briquettes but we do recommend briquettes olwenso nganti we have also to respect the nature ntiantu abasinga bagenze bateme emiti you know ndaba galamanda atagendo komawo atega brooding enkoko of which briquettes zo tuzibumbo okuva mukile takalye yekseki yekseni maybe could be the right regard oba no kuvira dala mu bintu nga obunga bwa mwogo as binding material kati no lusenyente lwe nyini lwe sanga anti omuntu asolo fulumia bracket esolo kuwominga enko konga zino so uh okuva kuna ko lusoka paka kuike eyo kubiri weko ma 15 days wetu zewera heat ate uh, te wetaga kuteka mu thermometer wabula ki wetaga is to make use of your senses and once you step into a brooder chikola makuru ntina wo feelinga comfortable ngo li brooder kuba um, most cases we don't want again to put in the cost ntikangule thermometer ni hanging to regulate the temperatures but just there we are here in we sang anti yes we are comfortable yeah. so if we are comfortable here then uh, they are also comfortable and you also make use of the site yes bobo laba if they are evenly distributed ngauli nkoko eri active eri wa waoka teze tumie maybe around the heat source mm. then it means that the temperatures in there they are favorable yes na ebulola banga yes they have come around the heat source they have huddled there so it again and temperatures have gone down so you have to bring in another heat source mm. so that you normalize that kind of condition basically talk about uh, pest and disease control yes pests and disease control yeah here by the way in lesto by the way we have parasites uh, basically then uh, the diseases um there are many but still we have those ones that are common their prevalence yeah so the prevalence uh, of diseases that are higher may be in poultry you know uh, we first look at uh, the one we vaccinate against that we have things to do with the newcastle when you cast by the it is a very common disease and it is viral. Can we be viral? If I we have no treatment for that, only that we give a supportive treatment. At the same time, the best way to go is to vaccinate them. Yeah, you cast by the musujia and those bamu baguita mulalama is rugando rutuf. So ya kwe sanganti musujiogo. Musujiogo by the way, gudia. Uh, munkoko is a bully size. Rensong anti uh, enkoko newe by our nakulum, a solo kubiwa, Newcastle. Then newe banga ya, nyake vidi, a solo kubiwa, Newcastle. Tovola at Funa cases in Yinji Nyon to Muro Elias. Such an outbreak comes in, the whole village is wiped off with the chicken. Then they just go elsewhere to start now bringing new birds from other villages. So, echikumu vionna, nchi omusu jogu, olusu gule te chidukano, uwe sana, te chidukano cho chiva cha green. Eche nkoko. Eche nkoko. Then, uh, secondly, uh, jia kwe sanga, nchi guma nyo causing a paralysis. Uwe sanga, nkoko ya kubidwe kuguru, te sola kutambula. Uh, then, uh, nsunga yoku sato, jia kwe sanga, nchi nensingo zima nyo kwe twistinga. Neta andika, olala ambala, yes? Yeah, so, echila uh, lanti, a losing appetite, of course. A losing appetite, ya kwe sanganti, gina kula depressed. Uh, te gina kuda mokulia, which if you don't eat, ni mobe kugwe, to gina kula bikanga wolikati. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so ya kwe sa, you go all emaciating, okoga, next time, you just leave the planet Earth. So, wachibi uh, rabwe chito, chiva chanki zonyo, nti ogema enkoko. In fact, what we do, nti new castle tumu gema mu first week. Ngengoko zino zize. Then, wachiba chwede, ne kumkumero yomwezi, after that, otani kwa kubuka we mieze ebili ebili, you diwam, at the same time, you don't you castle. Uh, Echirade echoku wechiri common, jetu ita uh, infectious basal disease, over gombolo, locally. Uh, gombolo uh, is also a stubborn disease. It is also viral. Uh, gombolo, serevi singa, ya kwe sanganti, avera nyo, is, uh, koko zosivya nyo proni nga ziri wansu wa mieze ebili, uh, whereby gombolo wali nti vailo in fact a causing a nyo uh, okufa kwa amai mortality ne mobility nti kawada wakatambula kurete yo ili amani 
na ye uh, ya kwe sanganti gumanyo kufuna stinje yes dropping ndipo kama kafuluma kalimbwe kalimbwa abanga ali muwuzi atenga ali kulime yes so we kama kafuluma kageza konyo it struggles by to peck its vent to get out of that dropping so ya kwe sanganti once you step in the house like this ya kwe sanganti kawo kama kakava because it is trying to push out through the vent na yenga out of hardship so uh, chikulu nyo the nature of course uh, in that it is where they irritated kageza ko kwekaka ni fight bulu zinga appetite basically ah ka bulu zinga appetite ya kwesanga anti enkoko create ko zifire ba ya manyi nyo na yi uh, recommending nyo anti once you get uh, an outbreak which you don't understand either solo ku biro musawo or web solo basically ah uh, so web solo kati fwe or to stepping in either to come and get the sample then it get trial for post mortem or finding out what if there's findings then we do recommend accordingly okusiza kwe kitu batukoze eki kitu batuzude nenga sele bisinga gombolo na etu mugeme mirundi ebiri the first month that is the second week of age and also the third week of their age bwo malirize echo enko ke enku te tuzigema gombolo bezwanga zikuzenga zisuse emyeze ebiri yes gombolo mmate mmate but anyway uh, walo we na genda hmm. Never, never, never put it down. We will get them when Coca and Bala or Kuguluneku, a Kubera Paris, never put it on Kazinga Gambagan or Kalatele Walaji. Yeah, by the way, true, a very singer of many, um, Nedagan Edio, uh, Tulina Kotwas in Zira or Dicola, Era, Wesang, Anti, Nesantiza, as you know, to student years. Waraj, by the is one of them. Waraj, um, Celebi singer is a good uh, sanitizer. Yes, the sanitizer. Uh, but uh, here, we fight that alcohol, more so the pure Waraj. Celebi uh, singer, the Twitter got a Kumua in solo. Yes? wabula tusolo muko esa nga sanitizer bwabanga ali ku percentage entufu nga bwola ba is sanitizer ndala bwezili that they are uh, 88 plus is to keep worth okubera sanitizer and asolo kutobuka but we don't recommend people to give them to birds to take wara you know it's not good yeah busolo tamira at the same time wara jo by the if asolo ku ko chago muntu ne wesanga anti yes system yes we are covid affected at the same time while the disinfectant oja ku wesanga anti nengo ko yinyine sobolo okufa obango ko zechi obango jibade walaji thank you for watching family farm every monday from 11 am to 11:30 with our esteemed viewers esteemed viewers english came on a boat but i love you so much every time you get tuned with the farm girl i love you peace